Business editor Richard Southern is here in studio with us. Hi, Richard. Happy Good Monday. You. Happy Monday. We're going to start with this story. I was uh, shocked to see it, but a small Toronto home is being listed for a very big price, Richard. And we mean small, right. Erica. Uh, this home, it's owning eight, look, it's owning eight foot wide, Erica. It's, yeah. Look at From this. Here to here. That's the home. Yep. Uh, the price tag is big, though. It's on the market for $1.9 million. This home uh, situated near College in Lansdowne, uh, 1,700 square foot. It does have three bedrooms and four bathrooms, but that's a big price tag for an eight-foot house, Erica. We caught up with the realtor today who said, hey, don't judge the book by its minuscule cover. The only thing I would add is just like to not rely too much on the narrow of the house when you look at from the exterior. I do believe that when you're inside, my client did a fantastic work uh, making the house actually very comfortable, especially with the high ceiling windows and everything. When you're actually inside the house, it does feel a lot more comfortable. Is, is that pitch working on you, Erica? I'm not. I mean, it's it's out of my price range <laughs> entirely, so I can't even say yes or no. We're told as well that the uh, the seller who spends a lot of his time in Florida or her time in Florida is not willing to budge on the price. If they don't get the $1.9 million, they're renting it. So it's take it or leave the eight-foot house, Erica, right. 1.9 mil. Welcome to Toronto. Welcome to Toronto, I guess. <laughs> okay, now that tiny home could be an outlier with analysts predicting that significant price decreases are on the way. Yeah, we've heard a few of these estimates, and then TD Bank and their big economists came in today, and they said, hey, we think uh, the Canadian housing market on a whole is going to see prices drop 20 to 25% by the first quarter of next year from this year's peak in February. So first three months of next year between, you know, now and then we're looking at a 20, 25% downturn, which the bank says would be unprecedented in many uh, decades. Thinks the uh, number of home sales will fall 35%. However, slightly longer term, TD is more positive on the outlook for the housing market because it says population growth is going to kick back in. So it's kind of in line with what we've heard from others, Erica, in that we are seeing this big downturn, but it mightn't last very long. Okay, and finally, uh, Tim Hortons is double doubling it's Canadian oh you're good bread. that wasn't me that you're wasn't on me. point for a Monday <laughs> Erica uh, so yeah more Canadiana what is the coffee chain selling now Richard doesn't get more Canadiana than this Tim Hortons selling maple syrup of course I mean I'm you surprised know they haven't done it exactly you know right? their years uh, you know they've, they've done a lot recently to boost sales uh, Tim Hortons uh, Justin Bieber collaborations and pizza they announced last week but this is the the new thing it's uh, uh, maple syrup, uh, the actual maple syrup itself, and maple syrup candies uh, that uh, the chain is selling. Uh, Timmy's also announced today they are bringing back their pumpkin spice lineup tomorrow. And Starbucks, the big daddy of PSL, Erica, announced today that its pumpkin spice will be returning tomorrow. They're charging 4% more for it in the United States. Not clear if it's the case here in Canada. It's too early for me. I can't go out and get it just yet. No. Uh, the weather has to get colder before I go out and get a pumpkin spice.